Some believe that the second coming of Christ is here, but it's taken a strange form, the immaculate conception of a stingray. In the aquarium and shark lab of North Carolina, a stingray called Charlotte has gotten pregnant despite not having contact with any male stingrays for over eight years. The aquarium called it a once in a lifetime science mystery. Her divine pregnancy has had the internet ablaze with speculation. Is it a miracle? Did a shark get her pregnant to make a sharking ray baby? Well, the mystery has probably been solved and it's likely not what you'd expect. Charlotte is a round stingray, a species with dinner plate shaped bodies that lives in the Pacific Ocean. When she started, quote, blowing up like a biscuit, the aquarium thought she had a tumor. But when she got an ultrasound, it was clear she was pregnant. Various theories have emerged in an attempt to unravel the mystery behind her virgin birth. Some speculate that environmental factors or genetic mutations could have triggered this phenomenon in Charlotte, while others draw parallels to religious narratives, referring to her as the Virgin Mary of the Stingray world. A lot of people think a shark in her tank impregnated her. The aquarium has even alluded to as much. Charlotte did have some shark bites, a key indicator of shark mating. Note, there is an animal called a shark ray, but it's not a shark ray love child. It's just a ray named after a shark. According to the aquarium, they'll be doing DNA testing on Charlotte and the pups to confirm how they were conceived. They say it will tell us if a shark did impregnate her, and that just because something has not happened or has not been documented does not make it impossible. Scientists largely disagree though. I give a shark the same odds of being the father that I would give Elvis or Bigfoot of being the father. Zero according to shark scientist Damian Chapman. The physical anatomy and genetic separation between sharks and rays would probably make this union impossible. More likely is that she underwent asexual reproduction. The phenomenon, known as parthenogenesis, is named from the Greek roots that mean virgin creation. It occurs when an unfertilized egg fuses with another cell, called a polar body, which then develops into an embryo. You're implying that a group composed entirely of female animals will Breed. No, I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Parthenogenesis has been observed in over 80 vertebrate species, from fish to reptiles. It doesn't happen naturally in mammals. While parthenogenesis is not unheard of in the animal kingdom, its occurrence in stingrays is relatively rare. Another theory is that Charlotte may have lived in the wild with male stingrays before, and has been holding on to the sperm ever since. Stingrays can do this, amongst a host of other weird reproductive things. The record for sperm storage in stingrays, though, is less than half the time Charlotte has been isolated, only four years, compared to Charlotte's eight. It is a possibility, though, and genetic testing should give us more information. Charlotte's story has captivated, excited, and even inspired scientists and TikTokers alike. Charlotte should be giving birth any day now, or may have done so already depending on when you watch this. While she probably isn't the Virgin Mary incarnate, this story is still nothing short of one of nature's miracles.